Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Predator Helios 16, PH, 1672. To gain access to the internals, you have to undo 10 Torx head screws. Detach the two plastic caps that are in front of the vents. Raise the backside by carefully lifting it while holding firmly the two plastic exhausts on the rear. Don't apply a lot of force. When around half of the panel is popped, hold the left side and maybe swivel it a bit and rotate it to the right. This should release all internal clips. On the inside of the bottom panel, there is a dedicated socket for the battery that secures it in place and a hefty dust filter in the middle. The plate also houses a thick thermal pad for the Wi-Fi card. The notebook has a 90 watt hour battery. To remove it, pull out the connector from the main board and just lift the unit away from the chassis. The capacity is enough for five hours and 17 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the best power efficiency preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Eco and Optimus modes in the Acer Predator Sense app. The RAM zone and the pre-installed SSD are covered with a heat shield, and you have to peel it gently. According to Acer, the two SODIMs fit up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 MHz memory in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The memory stick here is covered in foil that has a thermal pad on the inside. For storage upgrades, you get a pair of M.2 slots compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. RAID 0 is also supported. The Wi-Fi card is on the left, close to the battery. The thermal system has a pair of metal Aeroblade 3D fans. Two heat pipes are shared between the CPU and the GPU, plus one additional pipe for the processor, and two more solely dedicated to the graphics card and its memory and VRMs. The cooling is complemented by four heat sinks, one metal plate over the CPU, and a much bigger one on the GPU side. The bottom heat pipe also makes contact with the chipset.